Sorry guys, we haven't uploaded in a week. Welcome back guys, welcome back to the Payne family. I'm Matt and that sun is super bright today. Anyways, I wanted to touch base with you guys. It's been a week since we've talked and I wanted to show you some things that have happened. We've had a lot of rain here here lately and we've been having camera troubles and it's just been one thing after another. But I do want to show you what I added to the camera. It's pretty cool. Check this out. I'm actually using another camera to film my camera so you guys can see the new light that I just added. It's pretty cool. You can put the mic on top of it. I'm just trying it out, you know, giving it a test run. May not work, may work. I don't know, we'll see. It's only like 30 bucks, so we'll give her a try. Anyways, pretty cool light there, but I wanna show you guys something real quick. If I can get out of the sun. Check out my pine trees. See that T-post? This T-post is straight up and down. The tree, however, is not. So what happens is it rains a lot and gets the ground real loosened up and then the wind blows like crazy and it just blows my trees over. And I need to get something else to hold them better. Like some rope maybe instead of that ribbon stuff that I'm using. But I gotta go around and get all those tied back up. And there was something else that I was wanting to show you guys. Come right over here. So, check this out. Look what I'm walking on right now. This is poultry netting. Look at all of it. That is actually all of the poultry netting that's left over from the turkey pen that I built there. And it was originally a 50 by 150, 150 feet by uh, 50 feet piece and that's what's left over so i have it sitting here on the side of the barn here and yesterday i actually unrolled it and it was kind of a mess check this out So after I got all that unrolled, I figured out we have enough for more head homesteads turkey pin. So you guys need to keep this a secret, keep it quiet, don't tell Bo, although I'm sure he's going to watch this video, but that's okay. All of this net is going to Moorhead homestead and we're going to put it over his turkey pin once we get to that phase. Uh, we've actually get the sides done and everything like that, but we're going to put that over the top and it's going to be pretty cool. On another note. Let's go check out the chickens. Look at that little banny rooster right there. Thinks he's king of the pen. I need to get a black ostrilorp rooster, which would look like the big black land hens, so that we can have little baby black ostrilorps. Because I don't think that that little rooster is gonna get the job done. Just a little bit too small. at all the turkeys what's up guys can you gobble for them look at all these turkeys everybody I need somebody to come buy these birds off of me There is way too many birds in this pen. If anybody is needing any Rio Grande wild turkeys, hit me up. I'll put my email in the description box and send me an email and we'll get together. I'll get you some turkeys. Man, that sun is bright. Check out this hen right here. Let's 
go in here so you guys can see them a little bit better. Filming through the fence, it's kind of hard to see them. So this is the second pin that I ever built. This is actually a 20 by 30 and all of these posts are separated 10 feet apart. So post, post, post every 10 feet and the same goes for the whole perimeter and then I just took chicken wire and ran it on the top and you can see right here where I had an overlap and I had to clip it all the way down through here so this is what we're trying to avoid on Moorhead Homestead's pin is having to clip it all the way down through here it's just a lot of added work that we don't have to go through because we've got all that net over there. So it's definitely going to make things a lot easier. And I've also got some shade tarp up here because I'm not as fortunate as Bo. And I don't have as many shade trees around here. So we went and bought some shade tarp. I think it's... I think it's 60%... I think it's 60% shade. It may be 75 I'm not sure, but I've got the shade tarp spread all the way down one side of this pin so they can have a little bit of shade and they can get in the sunlight if they want to also. Let's look at these hens. What are you doing, girls? Have you laid an egg yet? I need you guys to start laying some eggs for me. Let's go in here and see if there's any eggs. Nope, nope. That's a golf ball. Those are two plastic eggs that I put in here and they were actually eaten by a possum. So these are plastic and you can get them at Stillwater Milling or uh, Orchelands, Tractor Supply, anything like that. They sell these fake eggs. Well, these are plastic and hollow and a possum got in here and got a hold of them. Look at the teeth marks and thought they were a real egg. He busted it open and there was nothing inside. Well, it looks like the girls didn't lay today. Maybe once they get settled in a little bit more. They're still kind of new to the place, so they still may not be 100% comfortable with laying. But we're going to give them lots of protein, and we're going to give them some eggshells in their diet, and hopefully that'll coerce, coerce them to lay eggs. That banny rooster right there just had a hold of that laying hen trying to breed her. Not sure that's going to work, buddy. You're a little bit tiny. These hens over here are more your size. So this has been a rather short video today, but I just wanted to catch you guys up on a few things. We haven't uploaded in a week. We've had a few camera problems. Um, it's been raining like crazy so we just got a little break here and I wanted to update you guys on a few things we always appreciate you watching our videos if you would click the like button if you haven't already please subscribe and we'll catch you all next time peace